welcome to the Who's He Video Podcast with me, Phil, and I'm joined once again by... Scott. Scott. Yes, hello, Scott. And also we're joined by Spike the Cat, who seems to be a permanent resident of the sofa, it seems, these days. So this Lee Malone will scratch you. He will. So anyway, um, thanks again for everybody who watched our last reaction videos for uh, the Sontaran Experiment. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to the video channel um, and give us a few likes and comments as well. That'd be very much appreciated. So um, this month, Scott, what are we doing? Um, we're doing Boomtown. Boomtown, Boomtown. So why did you pick Boomtown then? Because I want to come put old two with new who. Okay, okay. So this one... Um, well, we know not a lot happens in this one, does it? Really, it's a bit of a bit of a quieter, quieter episode. Not very, uh, not very action packed, from what I can remember. Um, but let's find out what what we think, Scott. Mm-hmm. I do see. remember one of them had their foot stuck in toilet roll. Foot stuck in toilet roll. All right, well, we'll see who that is. I bet that was Mickey. It was. It was. Yeah, I thought it might be. Okay, everybody. So if you want to watch along at home, um, we're going to press play very shortly. So get yourselves ready because we're going to press play then in five, four, three, two, one, and play. Oh, previously, so we're going back to the World War Three and Aliens of London. I forgot about this bit. I wanted to choose this one because I thought it would follow up to Boomtown, but okay. I didn't think those one was that as good because it's a little bit like stuck in the same area all the time. Yeah. Then the other one was in different areas. Do you like the Sardine or do you think they're a bit stupid? I, I like them, but they mm. make. I don't really like it that they always make it up excuses when they fart or make weird sounds. Oh, yeah, the farting's a little bit. <laughs> the only child in the universe doesn't like farting. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, six months later. Here we are. What is this? Is it Christmas? No. We've just gone from London to Cardiff now. Why were they going to Cardiff? Well, that's where. Margaret Blaine has uh, set herself up. Spike, can I have some more, please? Thank you. <laughs> this guy was in Torchwood. He played um, Gwen's dad in Torchwood Miracle Day. And he was in Gavin and Stacey as well. Seems to be the go to Welsh man. Like Telfrin Thomas used to be back in the day. You don't know who that is, but that's one for long term Who fans out there. Let the cat sleep. I'm covered in hair again now. Yeah. I said to leave him alone, didn't I? And I get scorched. Trouble with the white cat, you get covered in cat hair. Anyway, Doctor Who. <laughs> See what I mean? It's quite a slow start, isn't it? Now she's in Midsummer Murders now, actually. I remember that. Yeah. Plays the pathologist in that. Wait, the doctor. Yeah. And she's also in the Monty Python film as well, the, the uh, Jabberwocky. What? Sounds Star Wars. No, she played Griselda in the Jabberwocky. Holy. Ooh. Do you like these titles? I don't really know. They really don't. They don't really know. Do you think they're good, or prefer the old ones, or do you like these I new mean, ones? The new ones are a little bit more colourful, but the old ones. That's a won't... horrible logo, that I really don't like it. Do you know it's dated really badly? Seeing it after all this time. But the old um, Doctor Who titles were better because it wasn't so bright. Yeah. Cardiff Station. And I never found out what Noel Clark did. You don't want to know, mate. He did some, uh, I'll put it, nasty things to women. Disgusting. Exactly. Do you remember going there? We went to the Doctor Who Experience when we saw that, didn't we? No, we we stayed in Devon. We drove to Cardiff for the day, didn't we? Was that is that England? No, Wales. But is that in England? No, it's in Wales. Different country altogether, mate. Oh, 
I was calling him Ricky all the time. Careful of his foot there, mate. Okay. So we just move. Scott's inability to move the camera with his foot. It's a bit close, isn't it? It's a bit close. So it's a bit talky, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Need to get into the story a little bit. He's got like. More back chat between people. Yeah. Like a car, but more confusing. Oh dear, how cheesy. Why is it so cheesy? Yeah, all very smug, aren't they? And it went true. It only just come out of the nineties, though. Well, this was two thousand and five, mate. No, it's all you know, they're all a bit smug and cheesy. I know it's heading towards something where they all get split up and everything. The next couple of episodes, but when they meet the Daleks, that's the next episode. Interesting. Hmm. That's what my granddad did when he was a policeman. He used to put them inside the the police boxes. But it's wooden though. Wouldn't they be able to break out? No, they're actually made of concrete. They weren't wood. Why is that? Made concrete. Of? It's wrong. It's not. It's, it's not. The police boxes weren't weren't wooden. They were made out of concrete. They, they were wooden doors, obviously, but they're actually made out of concrete. Did they secretly made it wood, but the TARDIS made it wrong with it? Wood? Yeah, it's just. You could basically say it's it been that. known as wood ever since, basically. Why doesn't she watch this at the time? Whether you would have been interested in watching this on your own, it wouldn't sort of hold your attention, really, would it? You would just walk off. Yeah. Because it's a little bit of a stupid episode. Mm. I mean, the ending's okay, but opening like the TARDIS console up is. We haven't got that far yet. You're not meant to have seen this before. <laughs> I have seen it. It's meant to be your reaction to it. This is more like a commentary now, isn't it? The person behind her is the person that she goes to, to talk to. Yeah. Knew it. Kathy Salt. Do you like Salt? No, it's her surname, Salt. Mm. I've seen her in something else as well. Oh, I think it was a promo for grown ups I saw. I think, oh, Hinterland, I think it might have been. That's Welsh, it's all within the Welsh language, Hinterland. It's good though, but not for kids. Definitely not for kids. They talk like Scottish people. No, they don't. They talk like Welsh people, Scott. Apart from her, she sounds terribly, terribly English. But she's Welsh. Although her body... (laughs) Could they kill people? Her body was originally from England. Yeah. What the? Do you understand any of this, Scott? What? 
was that mouthful of words? I don't know. Serve this way a bit because we've got to put the pictures in the corner. You're going to get blocked out. Oof. Oof. Why would you say... That's the farty noise in this or not. I'm surprised you didn't kill the person. She might do. She doesn't. It's a bit silly, really, the zip on the head and everything. The electronic stuff that comes out of her is dramatic. Hmm. What is that? If no one would notice. <laughs> she put on a fake voice. No, it's her voice, but it's coming through the little voice box. Then. So that's the voice box. What has like a, what's around her neck? Yeah. Mm. I was having second thoughts. She's pregnant, even if she no, was. No, she's three months. Oh. You don't, you don't, when you don't show that much at three months. Do you know what she's talking about? Sladeen? Yeah, ones that were killed in the owners of London. I'm surprised she didn't get killed in Aliens I London. knew. I suppose no one recognised her, really. But, oh well. I can't remember in the story if she was seen by a lot of people or not. I thought she didn't want photographs. Yeah, well, she didn't, but I'm surely someone would have recognised her, I would have thought. But. They never show how they get back in the suit again, do they? No. That restaurant they say is not there anymore now. It used to be out on the on the pier. Newspaper, like, can I borrow a newspaper and just goes and says, There's a doctor who doesn't ask, does he? A bit rude. Yeah. <gasps> I, you notice that she is a slithing because she wears those things on her hand, what are teleporters, and her earrings are teleporters. Oh, right, okay. You see it in a minute. This is the hilarious part. Mm. In about five minutes. That's where Mickey gets his um, toilet, the toilet paper stuck in his foot. Well, basically a whole roll of it on top of his foot. Cheesy. Spacky. Mm-hmm. Spacky. Do that dates it's the mobile phones as well, was it? <laughs> Good. Not that long ago either, that's the stupid thing. It's 
15 years ago though. He talks weird. It's not weird, Scott. It's the Welsh accent. English. Oh dear, they turn that gag. Who the fuck was far as then? You wouldn't question why his name's the Doctor. Well, you would. If, if someone just said I'm the Doctor, you you would say Doctor Who, really, wouldn't you? You wouldn't. That's why the TV program's called Doctor. Yeah. Who. You heard a bang, she knocked something over. Yeah, she was shocked to see the hear the doctor was outside. <laughs> Why would she turn out the window? She wanted to get away. Cheesy moment. She knows she's been rumbled. Why does he say that? Because he's never seen this. He doesn't know what to do. Dramatic Captain Jack moment. Idiot Mickey toilet roll moment. <laughs> oh, is this what you're talking about with the toilet and roll? Then he has oh, there Spike. you are. With a bucket on his Spike. foot. Spike. Yeah, talk about overdo the comedy. Spikey. Look at this. Oh, no, he's all over you. Cover you in fur. Uh. Oh, leave him alone so he'll get a bit umpy with you. She has. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Why did she teleport to? That's what I, I want know. He keeps bringing her back, doesn't he? You never know where she teleported to and where she come back. Yeah. You know she come back from us, but where did she teleport to? That's true. That's true. That's yeah, true. That's true. To kill the whole entire earth. Is she good now? No. Now why did she make that then? I thought she said she learned the errors no. of the way. Was that a lie? Yeah, it's a lie, yeah. Yeah. It's like a hoverboard. It basically is. Mm. Blag Frog. Blythe Droog. Droog. It's a silly trial. It's just a big bit of Lego, doesn't it? it does. But not the really Lego -ish. It's like half of a circle Lego piece. It does, isn't it? What is the name? Hmm? What is the name, actually? Blythe Droog. Everything means bad wolf. What the heck is bad wolf? You never find out. You do. What does it mean? Oh, you'll have to watch the next, to the final episode of this series then, won't you? I forgot what it, I know what the episode is, but I forgot what it is. Yeah, <laughs> you know what the episode is, but you forgot what it is. Isn't it to do with Daleks? It is to do with Daleks, yes.
Amelia can say that, can't she? I thought it was Rex, not Rex. No. Rexacaracophalopatorius. Rexacaracophalopatorius. That's yeah, so you can say it. Why does, every, why does everyone just look at each other like... Well, just that they have the death penalty. So she, should they take her back home, she'll be um, executed. That's sort of good, sort of bad. I mean, it is sort of good, because she's trying to still kill everyone else. She is, But she's yes. to only die herself as well. So do you like that TARDIS console? Mm, not really, it's a bit overloaded and dramatic. And the lighting's rubbish. Yeah, it's a bit dark and a bit busy, isn't it? Yeah. And Matt Smith's first one's not the best. The best, I prefer the classic Doctor Who ones, it wasn't so bit, busy. Just, yeah, just, like, more, more, like, I don't know. What? More like a bit clean more... looking, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. not so dirty. Yeah. I think the idea is he's meant to have sort of added bits and pieces to it that he's found, so it's a bit more sort of homemade. I well, think that's the idea. Why didn't he just keep two as the Paul McGann's one? Yeah, um, I like Paul McGann's one. I'm, 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 the second Doctor's one didn't look like a TARDIS, the outside, because it had all of the other parts on the other side. It had it on that side, not that yeah. side. Which oh, way is it? I don't know. Way? It's that side. Cause it's trying to make them feel guilty. Why would you want to? Why would you want to? Dunno. No one's looking her in the eye. No. Because they know what's gonna happen. Yeah. They'll they'll get like some crazy stuff happened to them, but then they get confused. No, look in the eye because they just feel guilty. They face the take back home. They're going. She's gonna get killed. Yeah. Let's go back to Cardiff again one day. No Doctor Who experience out to see, unfortunately, is there? Yeah. It's a shame they killed that off. It was good. And why did he come over then? Just an excuse to see Mickey. Did Mickey know that? You can't do it in an alien crisis that is about to happen. And oh my God, mm. this cat is annoying. Just leave him alone. Don't touch him. That's why he's working his tail. <laughs> you know he gets... If a cat's back there tells me they're going to pounce on you in a minute. This is cheesy moments. Yeah, you don't like cheesy moments, do you? They're disgusting. <laughs> Face. Are they sending them home? I'm not now. I thought they'd be. He's telling her, mate. It'll, it'll, we'll scratch you. Wait, are they sending me her home or not? Not yet. Some of it there. Oh, Scott, careful, mate. Oops, there. Ah, oh, damn. What? It's a rip for him. Accidentally pressed the pause button or something. Mm -hmm. I didn't pause you. I didn't remember. That's what she wanted. I didn't. What about you? Don't you know? Don't pause. Just tap the same thing. Any cares, Just play the everyone when you go back down. Hmm? What's that? Why would she kill everyone? Because no, she didn't. She couldn't save her family when the. When it blew up. 
Well, she got in a port. Well, she went into a port. A uh, ship. No, she hasn't got a ship. Don't do it on the roof. Christopher Eccleston was a little bit... What? Was a little bit silly to let it out. Hmm? It's okay. What's that? Didn't hear you. Um, I'm a bit... Why? Um, what? They shouldn't have let her out. It was a little bit stupid. She could have just she run She hasn't off. got out yet. You're thinking ahead. <laughs> you haven't got to that bit yet. Oh my god. They probably had to have a big argument before they got it on. Really. Probably. Isn't that the same restaurant the doctor went to earlier? Yeah, it is, yeah. So I haven't actually... Yeah, I didn't get to go in there before it closed. But I've been to the the burger restaurant that Matt Smith was in for... Um, the tiles. The, the Impossible Astronaut, that one. Didn't they base Clara's diner when when she died off of that? Because sort it of, had a yeah. tile floor. Yeah. Why would she get killed as soon as she gets there? Cause Cause, uh, because her family are criminals. So, so as soon as she goes back home, she'll get executed. Mm. How do the doctor know she put it in there? No, that she's trying everything to get out of it. His face when he smells is like, yeah, with the big ears, it looks dramatic. Uh, that's girl a lot, doesn't it? Mm. Poor city face. <laughs> Did you already know all of them? Yeah, he knows all of it. Steak and chips. Did he lie that he didn't know anything? Yeah. yeah. I say sparks on the move, but you're having a bit of a. Whoa. It's a bit boring this one, really, isn't it? Yeah. No, what happens? I've, I've forgotten just how little happens in this story, actually. I. Although this wasn't so. The the two thousand five series to about series yeah just series one of Doctor Who wasn't so confusing mm -hmm. yeah well it's not quite confusing it's just it's not as like just a very very it's not 
not the, uh, really the, action orientated. I could, I could see young kids getting bored with this one. After this series, it did get a little bit dramatic, though. It went a little bit like confusing plots and that. Especially with oh, Matt the, Smith's plot, Doctor Who. Yeah, they did get a little bit, a bit silly, really, if I'm honest. I guess series five was okay, but series five was all right. Series six was awful. Hmm. The whole impossible astronaut thing in River Soul that was just. Why would the beat? That is true. You would. She would. Then just be ordinary then. Yeah. She can't though because she wants to go home. Don't act guilty. Forget about it. Why don't I just wipe her memory, get rid of this group, take her back to this, like, another planet, like, mm -hmm. a prison, but she doesn't, but she's still safe there? Like yeah. what they did in the Sarah but Jane Pictures. It's probably no other, no other planets are actually sort of after her, are they? Like what they did to the Sarah Jane Adventures with, like, Ruby. Oh, right. I don't like Rose. Mm. I've said it before on the podcast. I don't like Rose. I think she's a horrible, needy character. He should have just left Rose. Why does he even care about her? Because oh, he's, he's silly. When you like someone, you like someone, and you can't mm. really get rid of them. Mm hmm. Because it will make them sad, and you will just act all strange. And you wouldn't want to go out with anyone again. Oh, well, well, you say that at the time, but then things change, and you meet someone else, don't you? Mm. I'm full of cats, I oh, know, you're smothered in it. Like, why'd you do that? <laughs> Alive. I don't hear They're it. the woman she was going to kill in yeah, the reporters. Susie Salt, whatever her name was. Why would, why would she kill her? Well, she was going because she knew about the nuclear reactor. So she couldn't stop it. Well, she did. She did stop once she found that she was pregnant, but now she's using this as a, an excuse to get out of being taken back to <laughs> Rex Calico Palatatory. But it's the home planet. She wanted to go home. No, I she thought. didn't want to go home to the home planet. She'd be executed if she goes there. That's the whole point of this, because she doesn't want to go back. She wants the doctor to take her back. Couldn't the doctor make Margaret electronic and make the Slidine her own suit to look like? Oh, not, I don't know. Not stealing, because they could get get make. She could make herself her own skin. Mm -hmm. She didn't have to use someone else's. Well, no, that's what they do, isn't it? And they use like large people because they can fit into a big bag of skin. I know. How I forgot. How does she survive in a in World War Three? They said earlier she teleported out. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Big lazy cat. Look at him. He's a furball as well. <laughs> I might say it's thunder. He says shush and it puts shush in there. 
Mm. Holy. Some action. No one's in there, you stupid Mickey. And Doctor should have left before Mickey. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> that Slovene can't run. That well, she's in high heels as well, Scott. You try running high heels. Is that good or bad? Bad. Yeah, you should have kept the doctor in there. They've put in the original theme tune on with the song of that song. It's the original theme tune. That's when they that's what they used for the first Doctor Who when the when when they took off it went on for ages. Mm-hmm. It just went on pew 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 for about two minutes straight. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gone back in the TARDIS. Mm-hmm. Why would you go back in it? It's about to explode. I don't know. What the point? It's safer inside these out there, all the ground's cracking up, isn't it? Yeah, why would you just leave Mickey there? I'm calling Mickey Mouse as a nickname. Uh-huh. See, can't be trusted. I thought there was a gun in there. Just shoot her hand off. No, there's no guns. I'm surprised one of the... You're not supposed to, be able to shoot fire guns in the TARDIS, but that that's sort of changed or flip flopped over the years. Well, when that's when the plot demands it. At Earth, Earth Shock, they did use guns. That you're TARDIS. absolutely right. And again, Attack of the Cybermen. It was rude that the Doctor didn't save Adric because even though the TARDIS doesn't work and didn't normally, let's go Hitler, uh, even yeah. though I didn't. And I think in uh, Part of the Ways as well, Jack fires a gun in there, kill a Dalek. But he's alive now. Because he's indestructible. Sure. I would disconnect it so she goes into space and falls off. Yeah, I would. It's weird. Is the TARDIS blue or green? Green. Oh, that's such a terrible line. Mm. <laughs> it's awful. I never did like that line. It's corny. Mm. Don't you like it much either? <laughs> Great minds think alike, Scott. Why do they call him? What are they going to try to do to her? Don't you remember? They turn her into an egg. Yeah. She goes back to being basically a baby again. What happened to her, her skin suit then? I think that falls to the floor in it, doesn't it? I can't remember. Mm. Does she notice that the doctor's made her become a baby again? Yeah, 
And I was just giving her another chance. Yeah. <laughs> it's not what? the most sincere smile in the world, is it? Did they just leave him there? I think they do, yeah. Why? They just get away, don't they? See, that's how it does it. <clears throat> Why is that tinkly bit coming out? <laughs> I don't there? know. Claws. Or does he just disappear? I was just, just suddenly realised. What happened to Mickey? Wait, what did happen to Mickey? Nothing, he just goes, I think. It's like he's literally digging in. What do you feel on here again, mate? It's Sit like up a bit. digging into me, it hurts. Alright. Sit up a bit, otherwise we're moving the microphone again. Oh, there we go. Okay. What does Rose ask that person? So she's seen Mickey. Well, he's seen Mickey, rather. <laughs> Why would he just walk off? He's a little bit rude, like Rose. No, he's just fed up, isn't he? He doesn't want to start a dramatic moment. He's like, "No, off we go, then, moving off on." We go, then. It's upsetting they didn't. You didn't actually see wax dog fell up across. They should have showed them taking the egg back. Yeah, I don't think there was the budget for it, mate. Mm. Those things on the egg do look a bit silly, don't they? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, well, we get it next time. I think I've just translated Welsh there. It says horizons and stones, I can see. I know. Well, I think we should have watched this one instead. Yeah. Oh my god. It's a good one, this one. Wish we'd watch that now. <laughs> yeah. Your choice. Your choice. What is that thing? Is that who Bad Wolf is? Yeah, so we should be watching Daleks instead, I think, Scott. Yeah. Oh, well, there we are. Well, that's it. That's, that's Boomtown. So, do you think it's better than what the Sontaran experiment that we watched last time? or? No, not really. Not really, no. No, it's a bit... I was far old to it. It wasn't so it's packed bit... with confusion, this. It's a bit of a slow one, that one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, not such a fan of that one. <laughs> oh, well, never mind, never mind. Well, everybody, that's a, that's a reaction video done. Um, we'll, we'll pick something a bit more exciting next time. Mm -hmm. Should we do, um, what should we do next time? Should we do, not have a classy one, let's do, or should we do Peter Capaldi next time? Mm -hmm. Wait, can we do one that's not a Clara one? I'm not really a fan of that. Clara oh, no, let's, let's, do a, uh, let's do a Bill one. Should we do um, Empress of Mars? Ice Warriors. Ooh, interesting. Oh yeah, okay, let's do that. So next time, folks, we're going to be doing, uh, we just decided right now, we're going to be doing the Empress of Mars, uh, with, with the Peter Capaldi story. With, Wait, uh, with, um, with, with, um, Nardo, Mr. Clean. Yes, with Nardo. The, with the... Mr. Clean with his shaved head. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Clean. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching. Um, 
don't forget, as I said at the beginning, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, be much appreciated. We'd love to hear your comments and everything as well. Uh, it'd be really good. Scott would love to hear from you, wouldn't you, Scott? Yeah, indeed, we're mate. We're nearly at 100 subscribers. Yeah, that would be good. Close. Yeah. Nearly. 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 Well, Nearly. Well, I was saying there, we've only got, we've got 70 subscribers, so please, please get subscribed, everybody. We, we, we would, really would appreciate it. So, I think that, that's about it then, Scott, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. until next time, it's goodbye from me, Phil. And goodbye from Scott. There we are. See, so that's yeah. how you do it. <laughs> right. Yeah. See you later next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.